Good morning to all and welcome to the new class. So today we are going to discuss a new topic and that is about non-communicable diseases. So I hope you all remember what we have learned in the last class. In the last few classes we were discussing about communicable diseases, right? So diseases can be communicable and non-communicable. So what are communicable diseases? Diseases that are spread from a sick person to a healthy person. We call it as communicable diseases or infectious diseases. So what about the next one? That is non-communicable diseases. So what are non-communicable diseases? Diseases which do not spread from one person to another person. So these diseases are not spread from one person to another person. They are not caused by germs. So these diseases are caused due to the functional disorder of our organs or it may be caused due to deficiency of certain nutrients like vitamins and minerals. So what are non-communicable diseases? Diseases which do not spread from one person to another person. So non-communicable diseases, they do not spread. They do not spread from one person to another person. So these diseases are caused due to deficiency of certain nutrients or it can be caused due to functional disorder of our organs. For example, heart disease, diabetes, all these are non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases do not spread from one person to another person. So now let's see what are deficiency diseases. So diseases which are caused when the body does not get enough nutrients. That is called deficiency diseases. It is caused due to the shortage of certain nutrients, usually vitamins or minerals. Such diseases are called as deficiency diseases. For example, when you eat only what you like or when you have the same type of food every day, what happens? Your body gets only some kind of nutrients. Other nutrients are missing. So that leads to deficiency diseases. We need to have a balanced diet, a diet that contains all nutrients in the right quantity. Right, so the shortage of certain nutrients, it leads to deficiency diseases. Diseases which are caused when the body does not get enough nutrients. We call it as deficiency diseases. They are non-communicable diseases. So now let's discuss about some of the diseases, some of the deficiency diseases that are caused due to lack of vitamins and minerals. So the first one is night blindness. So that is a deficiency disease. When a person is not able to see in the darkness or dim light, that means the person has night blindness. So when a person is not able to see in the darkness or dim light, that is night blindness. And do you know what is the cause of this disease? That is due to lack of vitamin A. So vitamins and minerals are very necessary for our body. So this disease is caused due to lack of vitamin A. So do you know what is the function of vitamin A? It keeps our eyes healthy and this disease is caused due to lack of vitamin A. So how can we cure this disease? We can cure this disease by having vitamin A rich food. So do you know which all food items are rich in vitamin A? Carrots, leafy vegetables, all these are rich in vitamin A. So you need to have vitamin A rich food. Coming to the next one is rickets. So it is a bond disorder. Here the bonds become soft 
and twisted. The children who are suffering from these disease will have bow legs. So these children will have bow legs. So do you know what is the cause of this disease? It is caused due to lack of vitamin D and calcium. So vitamin D and calcium keeps our bones healthy. And this disease is caused due to lack of vitamin D and calcium. So how can we cure this disease? By having vitamin D and calcium rich food. So which all food items are rich in vitamin D and calcium? Fish, milk, egg, all these food items are rich in vitamin D and calcium. Moving to the next deficiency disease that is scurvy. Do you know what is the cause of this disease? It is caused due to lack of vitamin C. So do you know what is the function of vitamin C? It keeps our gums and teeth healthy. So it keeps our gums and teeth healthy. And this deficiency disease is caused due to lack of vitamin C. So do you know what are the symptoms of this disease? This deficiency disease called scurvy that is swollen and bleeding gums, pale skin, loss of teeth. So all these are symptoms of this deficiency disease. So how can we cure this? This disease can be cured by having vitamin C rich food. So do you know which all food items are rich in vitamin C? Lemon, orange, all these are rich in vitamin C. So all these food items are rich in vitamin C and it helps to cure from this disease. Moving to the next type of deficiency disease, anemia. And what is the cause of this deficiency disease? It is caused due to lack of iron in the blood. So our body needs iron to make blood. And this deficiency disease is caused due to lack of iron. It is caused due to lack of iron in the blood. And do you know what are the symptoms of this disease? Pale skin, pale nails, then dark patches under the eyes. So all these are symptoms of this deficiency disease. And a person who is suffering from anemia will have less hemoglobin. That is because of lack of iron in the blood. So how can we cure this disease? This disease can be cured by having iron rich food. So which all food items are rich in iron? Cereals, pulses, egg, fish, all these food items are rich in iron. So these food items are needed to cure this deficiency disease. Moving to the next deficiency disease that is goiter. So that is swelling in the neck region, the enlargement in the thyroid gland, a gland that is present in the neck region. And do you know what is the cause of this disease? It is caused due to lack of iodine. It is caused due to lack of iodine. It is swelling in the neck region. So that is goiter. You can see the picture here. It is swelling in the neck region. And this deficiency disease is caused due to lack of iodine. So how can we cure this disease? By having iodine rich food. So a diet that is rich in seafood and iodized salt that helps us to cure from this disease that is goiter. It is caused due to lack of iodine. So these are the certain deficiency diseases that are caused due to lack of vitamins and minerals. Moving to the next topic, that is about vaccination. So what is vaccination? Vaccine is injected in a person's body, enables them to fight that disease. So we all are exposed to germs, right? The germs can enter into our body through different ways. It can enter into our body through the food that we eat, through the water that we drink, even through the air that we breathe. So we all are exposed to germs and germs can enter into our body through different ways. 
So germs often enter into our body and most of the time it does not cause disease. Why? Have you ever thought why? So these germs often enter into our body but most of the time they do not cause disease. Why? That is because of immunity. That is because of our immunity. That means our body has the ability to resist such diseases. That is called immunity. The ability of our body to resist diseases that is called as immunity. That, this is because our body has the ability to kill germs before they increase in large numbers. So that is immunity. So vaccines are in the form of oral drops or injections. So there are certain diseases like polio, measles, chicken box. So all these diseases are controlled by vaccine and you need to take the vaccine at proper time. So vaccines are in the form of oral drops or injections. So these vaccines contain weak germs or dead germs of certain diseases. So what happens when a person is vaccinated? When a person is vaccinated, these germs enter into the body and prepare the body to fight against these germs. So vaccination is very, very important and you need to have at the right time. So vaccine contain, it contains weak or dead germs. And when, what happens when a person gets vaccinated? When a person gets vaccinated, these germs enter the body and prepare the body to fight against these germs. So that is about vaccination. It is very, very important and we need to take vaccine at the right time. So that is about the topic vaccination. So we are done with the chapter, the second chapter that is food, health and disease. Now we can take page number 26, life skills. So let's go through that. To prevent the spread of communicable diseases. So what are communicable diseases? Diseases that can be spread from one person to another person, which can be spread from a sick person to a healthy person. So the first thing is wash hands before you touch food. Very, very important. You have to wash your hands properly before you touch your food. Then. Do not eat or drink from roadside stalls, eat freshly cooked food. So contaminated food and water can cause diseases. The third one is drink water collected from a clean source. As already mentioned, contaminated water can cause diseases. So we must always have water from clean sources. The next is do not dispose garbage around water sources. Always dispose a garbage in a covered dustbin. So what happens when you dispose these garbages in the water sources? The water gets contaminated and it can cause different diseases. Moving to the next that is do not let water collect in your surroundings. What happens when water is collected in our surroundings? These mosquitoes lay eggs and it can cause diseases. The next is trim your nails regularly. So you should all trim your nails properly. That is because there are chances for the dirts to be under our nails. The next is get vaccinated against diseases. So you have to take vaccine at the proper time. The next is activity. You can do the activity mentioned in page number 31 and 32. And once you are done, you can submit in Microsoft Teams. Then, about the great scientist, Edward Jenner. So, he was honored as the father of immunology, that is, the study of immune system of all organisms. So, he was the father of immunology and he developed the first vaccine against smallpox. So, he, the scientist, discovered the first vaccine against smallpox. So that is all about the second chapter, food, health and disease. So you have to complete the exercises of this chapter and you can submit in Microsoft Teams. 
So all of you should read this chapter once and understand the topics covered. So we'll meet in the next class and we'll start a new topic. Till then, thank you.